Welcome to the SeekNet Stories. Download the app to enjoy them all. I really like SeekNet Stories. I can't wait to hear this one. Guru Teg Bahadur gives his head. India had come to very dark times. The emperor was a cruel man who killed his older brother so he could rule. He was unkind to his own children and starved his father to death. He did everything for the sake of power. He was feared by his subjects and did not have any love for people of other religions. Even most Muslims didn't like him. He asked his advisors, What do I have to do to gain the trust of my fellow Muslims? Sire, there is only one way to gain the trust of all Muslims. What, what is that? That is by converting all Hindus to become Muslims. If they do not love me, then I cannot rule them. I will do whatever it takes. Destroy Hinduism from the root. The center for Hindu priests is in the land of Kashmir. Convert them first. Once they are Muslim, all others will follow. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's no good. Mm. I have an idea. We will convert the priests of the Kashmir Valley first. Then everyone will follow their example. <laughs> then the whole of India will have one perfect religion. <laughs> God is great. My liege, you are a great ruler. <laughs> yes, yes. Now, write up some orders. I will sign them all. Aurangzeb issued orders to give offerings to his holy city to show how religious he was. I am just God's humble servant. He ordered all the musical instruments destroyed. May music never be heard again. He introduced a tax for all non-Muslims. Collect the holy tax from all non-believer infidels. God is great. He also made orders to convert Hindus to Islam. If a man converts to our religion, give him money. If a woman converts, give her half as much money. He offered position, land, and money to anyone who converted. I will be famous in history, a great servant of God. Sher Afghan Khan, you are my governor in Kashmir. We must focus there. As the governor of the Kashmir Valley, I will further the cause of our religion. All the Hindu priests are under my power. They will change to our religion or die. <laughs> God is great. Many, many Hindus refused to convert and they were killed. Fear spread all over India like a dark cloud. One pundit prayed from the bottom of his heart. Holy gods and goddesses, I am being forced to turn against you. Or, or or I will be killed. I cannot betray my faith in you. What can I do? Please save me. Save us all. Save us from this oppression. He had a vision. A heavenly voice spoke to him. The gods and goddesses cannot help. Guru Nanak is the spiritual king in this dark age. The ninth Nanak is now seated on the throne. Go to him. He will protect your religion and your honor.
So he and all the other pundits journeyed to Anandpur to meet Siri Guru Teg Bahadur Ji. Welcome, friends. Everyone is welcome in the house of Guru Nanak. You men look very sad. They told him of all the horrible things that were happening. Temples are being destroyed. Even Gurdwaras are being destroyed. They have collected a huge pile of sacred Hindu threads from those who have been killed or converted. Who knows how many of us have been killed? We have done nothing to deserve this. If we do not convert, we will die too. But how can we give up our faith? We have come to you for help. Save us from this tragedy, this, this despair. The Guru felt how these kind-hearted men were so sad. He felt what a difficult situation they were in. But just then, the Guru's son walked in. <laughs> <laughs> Gobind Rai was about eight years old. He saw all of this sadness. He hugged his father and asked, Pitaji, why are these kind men so sad? My beloved son, the emperor is forcing them to give up their religion under threat of death. There is no end to their misery. What is the solution? These rulers, they are acting like animals. Their hearts are frozen. They need to be softened. Their hearts need to be warmed. What is required is the sacrifice of a holy soul. Dear Pitaji, in this dark age, who is more holy than you? Go, off yourself, save them. <laughs> My son. Guru Teg Bahadur knew what needed to happen, and he welcomed it as God's will. Guruji had a message sent to the emperor. <clears throat> emperor Aurangzeb, the ninth guru, Guru Teg Bahadur, is now seated on the throne of Great Baba Nanak. He is our leader now, and he has a message for you. He is the protector of the faithful and savior of humanity. What is the message? Um, um, if you can convince the Guru to join your religion, then all of his Sikhs will convert. All of us Hindus will convert as well. All the Sikhs and Hindus are going to convert? <laughs> this is like a dream come true. <laughs> God is great. Guruji was summoned to Delhi. And on his honor, he went. On the way to Delhi, Guru Teg Bahadurji shared the Nam with all people. The words of the Guru were welcomed, just like water is welcome in a desert. This world is not real. It is a picture, like in a dream. The only thing that is real is truth, which lies beyond what we see. Give up your life, but never give up your faith. When the Guru finally made it to Delhi, the emperor tried to convince him to give up his religion. Become Muslim, and you will be a famous and great priest in my court. You will be rich and have everything your heart desires. My heart desires me to live just as God wills me to. But, but I'm doing God's will. The, the most high God came to me in a vision. And so now I have to convert the whole world to be Muslim. I don't know what God you are talking about, but if the one God wanted only one religion, then why did he create more than one religion in the first place? 
Everything that happens is in the will of the Creator. And we must learn to live in that will and follow it. Neither you, nor I, nor anyone can change it. The Divine has willed that there will be Hindus and Muslims and Sikhs. The Hindus worship statues! This is an utter damnable insult to God, and it must be stopped! I do not believe in idol worship either, but everyone is a child of God, and everyone should be free to worship in their own way. Well, leader of the Sikhs, if you're such a man of God, then you should do a miracle. Men of God can do miracles. I will not do any miracles. To undo what the Creator does is an insult to the heavens. My heart has no greed. I do not care for your positions or wealth. I will not change my religion or way of life. Do whatever you want with me. The emperor was impressed with the guru. Hmm. But that was not enough for him to change his nature. My liege, the guru is your enemy. He, he is? Uh, he is! If you have mercy on him now, people will think you are weak. W weak? I, uh... He has not converted to Islam, nor performed a miracle as you told him. Yeah, that heretic! If you let him live, his life will be an insult to you. An in... in uh, uh. You must make an example out of him. And that I shall do! He became angry that the Guru would not convert or perform a miracle. Take, take him and torture him and... Till he submits! The Guru was tortured. But he didn't shake a single bit. In fact, he looked happy. Oh Lord, your will is sweet to me. One of the Guru Sikhs was slowly and painfully tortured to death in front of the Guru's eyes. But nothing could change Guruji. All the Guru sees is the hand of God at work. His life was almost over. He was tortured and in chains. And even then, he wrote divine poetry. Every moment not praising God in your heart and with your breath, that moment is wasted. Says Nanak, O oh my soul, Love the one like a fish loves the water. A servant was sent to the Guru's house. Tell my family, my son and my Sikhs, not to worry for my life. These rulers became great from good actions in their past lives. But they are destroying their legacy with their wrong actions now. If they spare my life, their empire will last long. But since the ruler has set himself to do bad deeds, this empire will begin to crumble. My body will die soon. It is not a bad thing. Let us all be happy with God's plan. When the servant arrived at the Guru's house, he told them what the Guru said. He also showed them the Guru's poetry. The young Gobind Rai read one of the lines. My strength is gone. I am bound down. I cannot do anything at all. Says Nanak, help me now. One creator, you are my only support. Gobind Rai smiled. My strength has come. My bonds are broken. I can do everything, says Nanak. Everything is in your hands, Creator. You alone can save me. The messenger returned to the Guru 
and shared Gobind Rai's poetry. <laughs> My son. While the heavens were shifting the Guru ship from father to son, the emperor still tried his tricks. Tell the Guru, it, if he converts, he will be given a very high position. <laughs> he will be happy. If he does not, he will die. That is final. I will not give up. The threat of death doesn't scare me at all. I am ready to die happily. It's useless. Just kill him. Chop off his head. I gladly give my head, but I will never give up my faith. The Guru bathed in a well nearby. He sat under a beautiful tree to meditate, and he sang Japji. Ik onkar satnam karta purk nirbo nirver akal murit. Then he bowed to God. O oh Lord, your will is sweet to me. And the swordsman severed his head from his shoulders. The Guru's life ended while a huge crowd sadly watched the scene. The people cried. <laughs> but the heavens cheered. Just as a raindrop merges in the ocean, his soul merged in the heavens. Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji sacrificed his life to stand strong for everybody's freedom. He saved many lives and inspired countless souls. Today, he inspires all of us to stand up for freedom. Many more difficult times were ahead for all Muslims, Hindus and Sikhs who did not like the emperor. But this empire would not last much longer. The 10th Guru now sat on the throne of Baba Nanak. One Sikh will take on more than a hundred thousand opponents. On that day, take the name of Gobin. The Guru came to help all people reach their highest excellence. In the name of Nanak, may all people be in high spirits. May all beings be blessed by God's grace. The time had now come for the gentle Sikhs to take up the sword. Now I will turn pigeons into hawks. <laughs> I knew I was going to like this story. That was awesome. I really like listening to the stories on my iPod. I can't wait until the next Sikhnet story comes out. <laughs>